Hi, I'm Laquita Tate, and I'm an interior designer, and welcome to my home. I've lived here in Memphis, Tennessee, approximately about 16, 17 years. My husband and I raised our two boys here, but they're now 27 and 29. My home reflects my personality and my husband's. We definitely like to entertain. We want people to be able to sit and just enjoy themselves. I wanted my home to feel like it was a warm blanket when you first walk through the door. I typically play up pretty much the same type of colors, blacks, creams, greens, and so you'll see that reflected throughout my home. This room is full of art, it's full of layers, and it's full of texture. The first thing I did in this particular space was painted the walls black. Black is a neutral, in my opinion. And so anything is gonna pop off of that. The different pieces represent something that I'm specifically drawn to in the African-American heritage and in our culture. We thrive off of being creative and being unique. So there are a lot of coffee table books that I have around from black editors, black writers, and that resemble things in the black culture. So this space that we're in, this is my home office. This is where I come once I get off of work for my education job and come and work on my interior design. You'll notice a lot of artwork, just like at the rest of my home. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of artwork. This young lady reminds me of me, natural hair. Normally have my hair up in a bun, so side profile. These are picture ledges. They're just not regular shelves or regular just um, line shelves. These are picture ledges. Because they're wider, I'm able to layer things. And I love to layer. I layer artwork. You can see I layer some other coffee table books. If I'm talking to a client, sometimes I do take some Zoom client calls. And then when I'm actually creating their design plan, I can pull some things that I need, whether they're wallpaper samples or fabric samples. And so I just have those things here. Uh, of course, Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, because I feel like I'm becoming what I want to become as I <laughs> grow in age here. I love this credenza. I thought that it popped really well. And then I just layered it with artwork coffee table books, and then some of my favorite plants. Most of the artwork in my home are by black artists, except for two pieces. And this is one of the pieces that is not by a black artist, but it's of a black girl called Sasha. And so playing off Beyonce name, Sasha, Sasha Fierce here. And so it's just a beautiful piece to be able to look at when I am at my actual desk. And I do like some artwork that have words. This one here says, create your own narrative, sis. So it's talking to me. So whatever I want to achieve in life, whatever you want to achieve in life, you can do it. So when you first walk into my primary bathroom, what do you see? This beautiful, beautiful Milton and King wallpaper. This is definitely my feature wall, this particular wallpaper. I absolutely love it and adore it. If you notice in my water closet, my beautiful friend Carmion hand painted the artwork inside of here. I wanted this to feel like its own separate space. This here is actually an artist I found on Etsy. This is my side of the bathroom. This is my husband's side, queen and king. Now this kitchen has taken on quite a few different renovations or makeovers. First change I made was to paint both the bottoms and the uppers white. And so it was this color white for the bottom and the top. And then just recently, I partnered with a brand and I decided to change my bottoms to this color green. And I absolutely love it. Again, my aesthetic is black, neutral color, like creams, white, and then olive green. And so I was able to bring that here and it just warmed up this space so much, especially against this wood countertop. Here in this particular corner, I decided to use this space to show off my teacups. I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, but I always pick up a teacup from any of my travels. And so I wanted to display that here. 
when we walked in this house 16, 17 years ago, this circle area of this breakfast nook was so unique and so different. I fell in love with the home immediately and I knew this was our home and it has been and it served us well for 16, 17 years. I recently just started making over this space. I wanted the curvature of this space to really pop. So that's why I brought in this velvet curved modular couch. And then I have these chairs still playing off the circle area here in this space. And I love this brown of this wood. It just brings in those natural elements into this space. Next piece in the open space is what you call a hearth room or your sitting area. This is a beautiful coffee table made by none other than my friend Carmion. It just really grounds this space. And I just absolutely love it. You can come on in to my guest bathroom. Of course, this is a nice Instagram moment, okay? I like to do my letter Instagram. So throughout my home, there's various pieces of Instagram moments, but this wallpaper is a showstopper. These curtains are actually not shower curtains. These are window curtains, but I needed the curtains to be long because of the space in here and I wanted to, to feel more luxury and elevated here. So I got these black velvet curtains as my shower curtains. <laughs> The room I'm the most proud of will probably be my laundry room right now. I'm not a big fan of having to wash. I do it because it has to be done. And so I wanted the space to be fun. I wanted to be a space that when I walked in and had to do the laundry that I enjoyed being in this space. Of course, again, the bold wallpaper that grounds this entire space. And then the layered artwork, some original art pieces here. And then this beautiful piece here that I had custom framed because it had to show all of the details. You can see the orange pulled out of the wallpaper. Using these doorknobs here, they bold, they're big. They pull up the colors from the wallpaper. Decided to paint the ceiling black because I did not want the white to take away from the wallpaper. I had a different chandelier originally and it did, just did not work for this space. And I found this piece and it is beautiful. Like it just, it's a speakeasy. In a speakeasy you have just a mixture of different things that's just bold and it stands out. This chandelier is definitely one of them. This is my primary bedroom. So I have a gallery wall here with my new Samsung frame TV where of course you can show art as well. So I just built my artwork around it. And then the artwork above my bed is an original art piece. It's full of texture. When I walk in, it just automatically brings a smile to my face. I absolutely love it. I've had this particular bed pretty much the entire time we've lived here. It plays off the vintage nightstands but I also didn't want to just be so brown in here with the wood. So I wanted to bring in those other textures as well. The velvet on my curtains, linen sheets. I have a leather pillow. I have a velvet pillow. So I just have all those textures in one space and they play well together because of the various colors. I wanted this room to just be my sanctuary when I come home and just be able to relax. And I feel like I have been able to create that in this space. <laughs> So this space is my guest bedroom. My favorite thing in this guest room is the wallpaper because as soon as you come in, that's what you notice first and it just kind of takes your breath away, the boldness of it. Wanted that wallpaper to be the feature wall and then I played off for it with this beautiful blue color from that wallpaper. The textures in this space, this rope throw, the leather lumbar pillow. And then if you go and look on the actual dresser, you'll notice the coffee table books, the planters, we have some faces, some additional layers of texture there.
So now we're on the patio. So when we first moved here, it was just this concrete slat, just this one when we first moved in. So a couple of years ago, we were able to extend the concrete patio. That way we can make two living spaces. So we have this living space here, and then we have the dining room here. I just wanted to be a space that was cozy. We can lounge and lay around. I turn the music on and just have a good time just sitting out here, just having a conversation, or just sitting out here by myself and having a little me time out here. Even though my space is all very different, I want it to be cohesive. I just wanted to make sure that it told the story of each room. I'm Laquita Tate, and you're watching Home and Texture House Tours.